promise this isn't the new angle. It's just, it's almost 11 p.m. at night and I don't really want to move the tripod. But anyway, hey guys, it's Holly. Now this video is something I've seen a lot of people asking for in my comments and my live streams and that is to do a room tour. Now to me, it hasn't really made sense to do one because for the most part you've already seen it all. Whether that be like this wall in my videos or like the other corners in my vlog, I feel like you guys have mostly seen it at this point and I get that I haven't gone into detail and like for the most part I've been putting it off because it's been an absolute mess with zero organization. But recently I reorganized my Lego collection if you wanna thank you. So now that everything's clean and my room is the cleanest it's been in a while, which please note that like this room does get messy. I'm only human. Like I do leave stuff around and as long as it's not dirty, dirty, I'm fine with that. It gets cluttered. Okay. But since it is the cleanest it's ever been, I thought now was the prime opportunity to do it. And if you guys are going to ask for a room tour, I'm going to do a room tour. I'm not chickening out. I'm going to show you every single nook and cranny of this room, every single shelf. I'm going to give you stories about how I designed everything and like how this room came to be and the furniture I made and things like that. You're getting the full experience today. So although I feel like you've seen most of it, I hope you get some entertainment out of this and enjoy being nosy like I do at looking at people's rooms and organization and all that type of stuff. So here is my room. So this is what you see when you first step into my room and you honestly have probably seen most of it but I'll go into a lot more detail about why it's set up as it is. Now it's also important to note that my room is not usually this clean. I did go through and organize everything and honestly this is the cleanest it's been in a while and I would like to keep it that way although I don't know how well that's actually going to work and there is still a bit of mess for my liking but honestly it's an organized mess and I'm happy with that. So the first thing I kind of want to go through is what's in the background of every single one of my videos pretty much. And that is my little cabinet with the Disney castle. So on the top I have one of my biggest sets ever and it was my first D to C set ever as well. And that is the Disney castle. And I've told the story before. I wanted this for years and years and years. COVID hit. This was my main COVID build. And I'm going to do a whole video about COVID quarantine purchases that I made on Lego. Then basically that is it. And for Halloween I did decorate it with these spider lights but they're usually not there. Then a recent addition is Rapunzel's Tower and I absolutely love this build and I feel like it fits perfectly with the Disney castle although definitely not in the same scale. And then just because I don't want to break it down I have put my Halloween mock out the front as well and I'm going to keep that there until November. Also another Halloween decoration I have is this skeleton candle holder which I realized was the perfect size to hold my Google Home. So you know I'm, I'm really happy about that and I'm just going to keep it like that. Then I have a Bath and Body Works candle here which is the scent leaves. I absolutely love this candle and the worst part is they only ever put it on sale in September because that's autumn in the US. So frustrating but I make sure I stock up on these. I think I've got two in my wardrobe ready to go but it smells amazing and then just on the top for decoration purely is a pumpkin candle. Then I do have a coaster which currently is housing my pink tumbler hydro flask. I could rave on about hydro flasks all day and funnily enough I bought these before the visco girl trend happened last year and I realized I was an accidental visco girl which was actually quite funny. Then this cabinet in fact is a Ikea Kallax unit so you can buy these from Ikea for like 40 bucks and then what I've done is I have built doors and put handles on them and put little feet on. Now fun fact this cabinet used to stand up a lot taller until one day I was trying to clean and access that drawer over there and the entire legs just snapped off and my first instinct when that happened wasn't did I damage the wall or is the cabinet okay it was is that Disney castle going to break um it didn't which was great so thank you Lego for building the Disney castle in three sections so to build these doors I literally followed a YouTube tutorial which I'm pretty sure was by a channel called the sorry girls so I bought these planks of wood I cut them I don't think I stained these ones I think these were already the color I needed it to be and then I just had some handles that I bought from Bunnings and then some generic feet which I did 
wood stain which you can't really see because of the shadows. Then on the inside I have all of my games. So this top shelf houses my Nintendo Dogs game, all of my Switch games, about maybe half to a third of my Wii games, my two Batman games for the Xbox 360, my PS4 games and my favourite PS1 games including Trash Bandicoot, Mickey's Wild Adventure and Tomb Raider which fun fact about Tomb Raider I could never get through the tutorial. There's also a cable for the Wii I'm pretty sure or maybe the Wii U I don't actually know what it is so I've just kind of chucked it there and then I have my Nintendo Switch case next to the PS1 games but you can't see it because it's too dark. Moving on to the bottom shelf I have a variety of blankets including a three dollar one I got from Ikea purely because it was a cold day and I forgot a jumper. This really nice Kmart blanket which I embroidered an H onto because each member of my family has one and we kept getting confused with them. I also have a sequined mermaid tail blanket and a magazine which I wanted purely because it had this Spider-Man bag tag. And that's everything for that shelf. My other shelf is a bit more exciting. Here is a variety of tech products including my hard drives, headphone, headphone cases, a variety of cables, a Chromecast, two lighters to light my candles with, and a bunch of miscellaneous Blu-rays and DVDs that I have including the first season of the reboot of Doctor Who, the entirety of Sherlock besides the final season. I actually need to buy that on DVD. Then I've got It, Get Out, Psycho, and my favorite Sony headphones at the top which are noise cancelling, perfect for going on planes. Then the bottom is what I like to call the party shelf as this is all of my card games and honestly not all of them fit in there. I did have to put like all of my what do you meme expansions downstairs but this is the rest of them including my X shot gun. Now I wanted to get a Nerf gun but honestly they'd sold out and this one looked better and was cheaper so I went for that. I also have a variety of suction cup bullets in there and a bunch of Polaroid film as I do have a printer which can print photos from your phone into like those Polaroid things which I really really love. And that is it for that cabinet and I also have this little doorstop mouse on the floor with a union jack on it and that's pretty much it for this tiny corner. Six and a half hours later. So moving on from the cabinet we have another Ikea unit which is my chest of drawers which literally nothing interesting here just a bunch of clothes and swimwear and shorts and things like that and then on the top is where I keep a lot of my skincare and makeup and like deodorant and hair stuff and perfume plus a selection of makeup wipes my playstation controller and like any charging cables that I need to plug in I always plug it in up here as well sometimes I'll have my hair dryer or a curling wand then I've got a bunch of hair ties and like a collection of lego earrings here so I just have a bunch of little lightsabers lying around which is actually pretty funny and then above that I have my pin board now for the protection and safety of my friends I have blacked out almost every single picture except that one because that's just me and you literally can't see anyone's faces in that but basically this is where I put up a bunch of my dance photos and I have them printed out as Polaroids and like actual pictures of me and my friends and then just for fun I've hung some of my Lego key rings up there as well including Minnie Mouse, Darth Vader and Princess Leia. That is a duplicate one for when the one on my keys finally like cracks and gives in and then this one in the middle here is a travel keyring. Now this is actually really cool. So I bought this keyring and it basically has a collection of all the different places I've visited and continents. Unfortunately I do not have every single place at the moment as they are quite expensive. This is a Canadian company called Traveler Collective so I do order them from there. The last order I did came in two months. It took a very very long time to come but I absolutely love this. I originally wanted to do like a country pin board or a map or something but I honestly liked the look of the keyring a lot better and I thought I can put it on my bag when I travel and things like that but since I can't leave the country it is just hanging there on the pin board. Then across from there is the rest of the background which you see in every single video and that is my bed. Now my bed is from Ikea. I did used to have a proper headboard on it but it just took up way too much space and the day I got rid of it I felt so much better but because I don't have one it can get uncomfortable if I'm sitting upright in bed so I did get these two black European pillows to put at the back and then I can kind of just shuffle them along and create a little backrest for myself. Then above my bed I have majority of my Harry Potter figures from 2004 actually no I've got some 2001 ones in there in fact from 2001 up until 2011 and unfortunately not all of them fit in that frame but that is majority of them and then next to that I have my Darth Vader Sith
Sith art and ideally I would love to have Mega Vader. I feel like I could probably get away with putting two of them on this wall and I feel like I wouldn't really hit my head if I did two. Mega Vader probably wouldn't fit but I would absolutely love to be able to do that at some point in my life. Then next to it I have my bedside table. Now this bedside table I actually built myself. I bought the legs from Bunnings and I bought the wood from Bunnings and I just assembled it myself based upon ones that I'd seen on Pinterest and things like that. The lamp is just from Ikea and then I've got my main hydro flask which sits there along with a really long laptop charger underneath. Then in this drawer here I have my burrow box and this drawer under my bed here has a lot of my dance costumes which is soon to have more built Lego sets all done. Then up on the wall I have this film strip picture frame which I've had to black out a lot of the photos again and basically my mum used to have these and have a lot of family pictures of myself and my sister and I wanted to steal them because I love film, I love film and television and I thought this would just be the perfect thing to hang up on my wall and I did already have a hook at the top which is the main thing with me hanging things on my walls. For example that's why there's one in the middle there. I don't actually have anything to hang up on it. It's not supposed to be there for what I've hung up on it currently. That was for a bunch of other picture frames which I've since taken down and swapped out because I wanted these things to be hung up instead. Then next to that I have this giant window and then I have my fan and this is essential for Australian living and I absolutely love this one because it tells me the temperature of my room so then I can kind of gloat if it's really hot and be like guys it's 34 degrees Celsius in here can we please turn on the air con and I can prove it because it's here although a lot of the time my family will blame it on me using my computer or the PlayStation which admittedly does make a difference usually only one to two degrees though so I can still use it as an excuse. Then in the corner of my room I have my two by four Calax unit and I absolutely love this thing in fact this used to actually lie here and it was down horizontally and I used to have this entire like Hogwarts display built up I do have a video of it so I'll show you that now and it was beautiful it was massive I did used to have a TV laying on this as well but earlier in the year when I was cleaning up my room I decided it was just too chaotic and that was when I first actually restarted the channel I used to have to rearrange my desk so I could put my white card up and it just got way too much I needed the extra space so I stood the frame pack up and it's made it so much easier so right at the top I have some of my Harry Potter minifigure frames and then originally and ideally what I just want to have is the clock tower and one of the Whomping Willow builds along with my Hagrid and Buckbeak brick heads and the little boat although I am thinking of moving that next to the Great Hall but since I haven't organized my shelf downstairs and don't have the space I have just stuck Weasley's Wizard Wheezy's up here for now because it did not fit on the rest of the shelf with Diagon Alley and since it is my favorite store I thought I would keep it in my room then back there is a Diagon Alley Leaky Cauldron wall mock that I started to do definitely not complete but I'm kind of proud at how it turned out so far and then I do have Hedwig which I built on a stream recently and I honestly think I'm going to move her downstairs on top of my Billy bookcase like right at the top though I feel like you'll be looking at her like this so I don't actually know if she's going to stay there or if she'll stay in the room. Then on the next shelf down is where I have a lot of my Pixar Blu-ray DVDs and just a few other miscellaneous ones. Now because these shelves are one set size and the Blu-rays didn't take up that much space I thought you know what I really could use with another shelf that way I can store more stuff. So I made these ones and this was really simple I just cut out a thick piece of MDF stained it and then had these little wall brackets in and I've screwed them in and because this unit used to be horizontal I do have these screw holes in there which I have just stuck down like white pieces of tape to which didn't actually work it's kind of peeling off but that is how I kind of worked around that solution. Then on the shelves I have my jewel on Mustafa with my Anakin and Obi-Wan. I have my Mandalorian battle pack and Obi-Wan's hut as well as that tiny build from Luke's land speeder this year. Then down one more I have my Scooby-Doo mystery machine which I absolutely love and I've managed to fit all of the figures in it although I did have an extra Scooby sitting down so I did put him on the outside too. Then I have a collection of all these random figures that don't really go together but I think they all look pretty cool and I did want to have them on display including my Spider-Man, some of my Harleys, Supergirl and Will Byers and Jack Sparrow himself and then I have this little Tinkerbell statue and because some of my DVDs are here I thought she just fitted perfectly in that section. The next shelf over is kind of miscellaneous it's a mix of Harry Potter and Star Wars as you can see and then I have my Spider-Man Pop Funko hanging upside down. Now usually I like to have this one in my car although around springtime it just gets way too hot so I take him out for spring summer and then usually I'll put him back in in like April or May as we head into winter although I kind of forgot this year and I think 
think he just looks really cool hanging upside down like that, so I'm going to keep him there. The sets I have on this shelf include my 2007 Hogwarts Castle, which is one of my favorite sets and is the first proper Lego set I ever got, so I'm really glad I have that built up. And then I also have the greenhouse from that set as well, which is all decorated for my Hogwarts mock. I have my Bespin Jewel, although I did not put Darth Vader on this model. I then also have my Death Star Escape set, which I got on Gumtree, which was an amazing, amazing deal. And then at the back, I have the original night bus, which you can't really see because the lighting's really bad. Moving down onto the next shelf, I have a collection of Disney DVDs, which I've all started to buy recently, as I would feel like Disney DVDs are something you can buy on a DVD. Like everyone's going to watch them. You're going to watch them multiple, multiple times. So I really wanted to have a physical collection of them. Then I've just got a random assortment of books, including my Book of Mormon, The Testament of the Broadway Musical book, which is honestly very, very entertaining. I love that book. And if you're into musical theater and the Book of Mormon specifically, highly recommend that. The next shelf over is where I have my 2010 Burrow, my Privet Drive Flying Ford Anglia, as well as this little plush Harry, which I got from Warner Brothers Movie World on the Gold Coast in Australia. Then at the back, I have all of my Harry Potter books besides my 20th anniversary edition of The Philosopher's Stone. That is actually in my bedside table because I did start rereading that. Yes, that's correct, Ash and Flash Chat. I have read the Harry Potter books. Ash, don't come at me. I have read all of these, okay? all of them, including the Cursed Child script, which is on the end there. On the third row is where I keep a random assortment of various Lego things. I have my extra instruction manuals here, along with my spare parts, pieces, and sets that I need to break down. I've just chucked them all on that shelf for now. And then on the one next to it is where I keep all of my Hogwarts mock work in progress while I wait to finally order some new pieces, along with things that I think specifically would work for the Hogwarts mock, my Hogwarts students, and a bunch of random minifigures. I also have like all of my Star Wars ones back there and all of that. Then this very bottom shelf has some of my dance trophies, a plush version of Sorcerer Mickey, which I'm pretty sure I got the year I went on my Dance USA tour. And then I do have a photo of me and my dance friends at a competition in that frame, but I've turned it the other way for you know why. And currently what sits in front of that is my Lego storage box, which I recently sorted through. I still need to get the lid for that. And like I said in that video, this box is then going to go into this drawer over here. And on the floor is where I keep a lot of my sealed sets and just random things I don't really have space to store, which includes my dots, my click hits, my Disney minifigure frame is under here. I've also got all of my old Mario stuff, which still don't know exactly what to do with. There's some of my Disney minifigures under there. Then I do have two square frames from Ikea, which is to do more figure frames. Then I've got a pile of white stuff, which I want to tie dye and the Scooby-Doo Spooky Castle ready for my Halloween stream. I've also got my green screen, neon green cardboard at the back there. It's the only really plain Place I could find to store it. And then I've got my tripod, which I use to film my videos. If it's not here, usually it will be stored away in my wardrobe. Then stuck behind Mario, I have a wide selection of my musical theater programs and things like that, and a photo book and a picture frame of my dance friends, as you can see in the bottom right corner. So next to that shelf is then where I have my Lego table desk type thing. So when I redesigned my entire room, I thought about it and I was like, you know what? I should get myself a small table for my kids. Here. It will only cost like 40 bucks. That way I actually have somewhere to sit and build Lego and film all of my videos. And I'm so glad I did because this table is absolutely amazing. This is where I film all of my reviews. I don't put any card up in the background now. I just use my gray wall. And this is the first place that will get dirty. It's used as my dumping ground. This is where I build. This is where I throw all of my stuff, all my boxes and deliveries. This is the corner that gets the most dirty along with this one down here. And even now it's not perfectly clean but honestly it's a look into what it actually is like like I just dump things on here my room is never perfectly clean as with I think most people's rooms and then on the left is my light which is actually labeled tv under google home I have this little ikea shelf now I have no idea what this shelf is called, but it's very, very, very handy. On the left-hand side, I have some printed pictures that Tommy C. Bricks did for me and my original Sig Fig renders. I just love them so much that I got some of them printed. I do actually want to print out a few more of them. Then I've got my main Star Wars minifigure frame. I need to make more though. I have way too many Star Wars figures for someone, especially who just started collecting since May. I then have my Britney Spears pop bunker and a drawing that my grandpa did. And I absolutely cherish this thing. I need to get it put in a frame rather than just this 
plastic sleeve though. Next to that, I then have my Pluty and Goofy brick heads and then kind of like a mini Spider-Man Tom Holland shrine, <laughs> including my other two Pop Funkos and this like printed signed certificate picture autograph display thingy. I really just like the look of it. I don't even know if it's authentic or not. Then I have one of my oldest cameras, which I actually started making videos on properly and I just thought it looked cool on display like that, which is why I've left it there. And then on the very end, I have a plushie of Groot, which I got from Disneyland. Speaking of Disneyland, above my little desk lamp, I do have a photo of one of the times I did go to Disneyland, which is really cool. And then this is probably the thing I haven't shown at all. And that is my desk, which is honestly always a mess. I don't think this thing is ever going to be properly clean at this point. It is just too chaotic. So for example, when I used to have my PC in here, that would sit under there and it was very, very cramped and crowded. And as you can see, I've kind of got a three monitor set up at most times, which is honestly very chaotic. So I have my laptop here, which I'm usually just using on as a separate screen, not really using it or implementing it. It's literally just being used as a screen, which is why I then have my laptop charger draped on it. And it's literally just sitting on some Lego boxes. I like it to be elevated. <laughs> and I figured that was the best method. Then over here, I have my PS4, which is shared with my sister. And then usually during the day, my phone will be dead all the time, which is why I have this charging cable draped from it as it's so much faster than plugging it into my computer or my iMac. Then on top of my PS4, I have a selection of minifigures, including Sith Me, Harley Quinn from the Joker's Trike, the Dimension, mystery machine, intergalactic girl. For some reason, I've got Santa as well and a reindeer and I have Wonder Woman as well, which is really cool. And then I have my monitor. So I used to use this as a second monitor on my iMac, although recently the cable died. So I just kind of threw that cable out and now that is just used to play Fortnite and Fall Guys and whatever else I stream on my gaming channel, that's what that's used for. And I also learned recently that the thickness at the top is the perfect amount for a minifigure plate. So I added some more up here, including the pajama girl, the zombie cheerleader and Harley herself from Dimensions. Then in between the two monitors is where it gets very chaotic. And this is my awful cable management from all of the streaming setup. It's a mess. I've tried sorting it out. It's absolutely horrible, but we're just gonna hide that with my HyperX quadcast, which I use for game streaming and any of Ash's build streams that I come and pop in on, that is what that's used for. Then on the far left, I have my iMac. Now I bought this, I think two years ago at this point, I think this is a 2018 model and I absolutely love this thing. This is where I do majority of my editing. Sometimes I'll get lazy and I'll use my laptop but for the most part, this is what I use just because it's a lot more powerful and faster. And then at the bottom is where I have my Powerpuff Girls Dimensions figures and that's the main reason I bought them is because I wanted to have them on display there. I used to have Harry, Ron and Hermione at some point there as well, which was pretty cool. Did that microphone just turn on on its own or am I blind? On the far left is just a collection of random junk, including my, two of my Hydra Flask. Actually, that cup I just moved there from earlier because I was thirsty and was using it. I then have my mug. I usually have a cup of tea on the go, so that is where it's kept. I do have a cereal bowl up here right now because I did take a snack of cereal earlier and I haven't taken it downstairs in the dishwasher yet, so that's why that's there. I then have my gaming headphones, a selection of stationary pens, just a random assortment of paper, some tissues, and then at the very back, I have a light, which I usually keep on charge, and a dusting cloth. Next to my computer as well is another whiteboard. So I've got my Scooby-Doo Mystery Ink Art at the very, very top, which I printed out and put in a frame. I just love it so much. And I thought that was the perfect place for it. I then got one of my old cheerleading bows. I've got a photo of Tom Holland as Spider-Man, a random selection of Sally and my other dog Milo, who recently passed away earlier this year, which is a real shame. I have another one of Tommy C's artwork. I've got the cast of Scooby-Doo, a photo of me from that one time I dyed my hair pink for a week. Yeah, um, don't think I'm ever gonna do that again, but it was a fun experience. I've got a photo of the Walt Disney World Castle. I've got a photo of Sig Fig Me, me at Disneyland Paris, more photos of my dogs, another photo of my dance friends, and our USA trip bow thingy that we all had to wear. Then to film all my videos or do any gaming streams, this is where I sit and it is my Pink Thunder X3 gaming chair, which was an early birthday present and it's honestly saved my life. This has saved my back from being in pain for editing all night and I absolutely love this thing and I can lie down on it and touch the floor. That's the best part. Actually, I need to show you this. 
So in case I ever need to take a nap, I can just lie down like this. It's, it's really comfortable. Although sometimes you can feel the blood rushing to your head, which that's not a really good thing. But you know what? The chair's still comfortable. And lastly, I have my wardrobe, which has a giant mirror on the front, which is honestly great. It means I can look at my outfits. It means... I can see all the mess in the background. That's the two things it's really good for. <laughs> so at the top of my wardrobe, I have a variety of Lego boxes. I also have my childhood bunny up here and like a turtle plushie. I've got like a bunch of keepsakes in that plastic container and then the rest is just boxes and boxes and Hogwarts Express and the Hogwarts Castle and boxes and the gingerbread house. The rest is all boring wardrobe stuff. So that's all you're gonna see and that is my entire room. I mean, I told you you'd seen most of it, but like, that's fine. So that is the entirety of my room and admittedly, yeah, I would like more space and I would love to move out into my own apartment or my own house and really spread out and have a dedicated Lego room like Brixie because that room is just gorgeous. I love watching those updates. He is living the dream right now with his basement. But overall, I absolutely love my room and I love what I've been able to do with it and have it still feel really spacious even though it's very cluttered. But I've rambled on for way too long. So if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel down below and until next time guys I'll see you later.